Not the ST1000. The ST1000? <laughs> Yeah. The ST1000. Check it out. This is where it got hit. Uh, broke the tail light. We're repairing the bumper. And uh, we got new bumper clips for both sides too, so it'll hold the bumper a little tighter. Uh, you can see the deck lid is like warped. So it's just more cost effective to replace it and fix it. Because they like painted over this one, so hopefully the new seal fits in there and looks good. These cars are so cool though, dude. I love these. I love ST1000. So we got the S2000 here. We got the deck lid off. Here, take a look at this. You can see all the damage here. So we honestly could have probably re repaired this, but the owner just wants to replace it. So we got the brand new one right here. This is an OEM deck lid too, so it's not an aftermarket one. It's already seam sealed getting it prepped, getting it ready for paint. Look in the center, it's creased both sides, like where the license plate area goes, creased there. It's hard to see, but it's creased there too, and it even tore the plastic. So if I can't get a new bumper, we're gonna fix this one. Um, yeah, you can see all the other damage on there. Check out all the new parts too. All OEM, Honda parts. So everything here is original. We have to remove the little turn signal light here, and then the badge on both sides. And then we're gonna take the bumper off, we're gonna take the headlights out, and we're gonna refinish the whole front end. So fix any little dents and rock chips and scratches that the whole front end has and repaint the entire front end. So you can see down here, this lip is supposed to be black, so I have an original replacement. That's actually for an NSX, but hopefully it works. And uh, yeah, they painted this thing. So I don't know why, but whoever, uh, yeah, did this bumper painted that. the entire repair area masked off. We're not priming the entire fender. As you can see, it's kind of cut off there. We're just gonna be priming the uh, rock chipped areas. And I've already done one initial prime on this fender just because there was a little bit more work that needed to be done on that. But it's basically ready for primer, so we're gonna get this thing wiped down and we're gonna mix up some primer and coat this thing. So these few coats of primer we're gonna be putting on this, it's just gonna fill in any of these little tiny rock chips that didn't sand out all the way. So this is what we're gonna to use to wipe down the panels first. This is a wax and grease remover. This here is a water-based cleaner, and then we're gonna be using this next to wipe all the panels down. So now that the car is fully wiped down, we're gonna go mix our primer. Adhesion promoter, if you're gonna be painting plastics, this has to go down first. So I'm gonna be applying this. Here. So I got my primer in the gun. I'm using RMP26. It's an RM Diamond primer, and I'm going to be using this to coat the panels. The with the 2007 S2000, uh, all OEM, all original. It was in a little bit of a fender bender. We're going to go ahead and take care of the bumper. Got a new bumper in. Uh, that was on uh, back order for weeks. Uh, trunk lid is in. Uh, we also do the front bumper and then the entire front of the car. So it's pretty much almost getting an entire respray with uh, some damage repair as well. I got these panels all blocked out here with 320 grit and now I'm just going over all of my 320 grit scratches with 600 grit on a D8, uh, making sure that I have all those scratches out and then uh, once it's fully prepped, I'm gonna get it masked up and painted. Just 
basically polished out the entire hood. This is the initial polish, so I got the shine brought back. Uh, now I'm gonna wipe it down and just go over the whole thing one more time with the uh, foam pad. And uh, I still gotta polish the fenders out too. But you can see basically all these spots that we've sanded are just like little tiny specks that landed in the paint when we uh, cleared it. So I went and sanded all those flat and um, once we polish the whole car out, I'm gonna reassemble it and try to deliver it Wednesday, maybe Thursday at the latest. And then we also painted this too, check this out. So this is the A-frame that's normally vinyl wrapped. So they usually uh, seam this in three different spots. So it's like a piece that goes to here and then a piece in the middle and then another piece down. And the problem is uh, with the new window seal, it's not gonna sit over the edge like the OEM one does. So the new one sits probably like right there. Um, it's better for like wind noise and stuff like that. But the problem is if you didn't uh, peel all this off, you would have seen like a little red edge right there. So that's all painted and uh, yeah, looks good. You can see right here too, look. Super clean all the way across, even though all that's gonna be hidden with the seal, like no one's ever gonna see that, but you know, the line's really straight and clean. Take a look down here, look, you can see now that the window's been installed. The old seal used to sit over this edge here, and then now the new seal sits nice and clean down in this area. It makes it look a little more modern, and according to Kelvin, he's done these a few times. It actually gets more, or sorry, less wind noise having this seal like this for whatever reason. I guess the other one maybe flaps around a little bit in the wind and makes some noise, so I guess that's gonna make that a lot quieter, so that's cool. Um, the other, all the other panels, I ended up wet sanding with 1500 and then 2000, and then polished it out with the microfiber pad, and then moved to the foam pad. Uh, this I'm just hitting with the microfiber pad and then the foam pad. I'm not wet sanding all of these, um, just because this factory paint doesn't really need it. But I just want to make sure that when you look at the panels side by side, they have the same glossy and the same texture. Same with the quarter panel and the bumper there too. So I just want to make sure it all blends together. I painted the deck lid, so we got to make sure that the deck lid is as shiny as the quarter. Or sorry, we got to make sure that the quarter panels are as shiny as the deck lid, and then we have to make sure that also the quarter panel is as shiny as the bumper because the bumper's going off. And then the door has to be as shiny as the fender because these are fresh paint. So, so just and polish everything. <laughs> everything has to basically be polished on this car because if you don't, it's gonna look really weird because it's a 20, 2007, so the paint is from 2007, so it's gonna obviously be a little bit faded and a little bit um, kind of doled out a little bit. So yeah, we just gotta bring the color back to life. Mm -hmm. 